Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate a frog like this in After Effects using the Dwig Basil plugin. So for that, this is the illustration we are going to use in this lesson and this is how the layers are separated. Now let's jump into After Effects and start with the rigging process. So now we are in After Effects and here on top of the illustration, you can see some circle shapes. So this will be the reference during the rigging process. Now let's start with rigging this leg. So for that, let's select these circles in a particular order. First the arm and then this joint and this joint. Then we are going to go and do a bezel and select the arm structure for this one. And here you can see that the structure layers are properly placed at the center of these circles. So this was the whole purpose of using these overlaps circles so that we don't have to just reposition the structure layers. Okay, now we can simply select all the structure layers and put it above this leg illustration layers. And now let's parent this thigh with the arm, leg with forearm and foot with hand. So we are using the arm structure layer so the name can be different but the result would be pretty much same. So now we are going to select this structure layers and go to auto rig and rig it. So here it's rigged. Now let's rig the another one in the same process. So this hand is also rigged. So now first thing we need to do is simply delete these reference layers because we don't need this anymore. Now we are going to select the arm 1 and arm 2 structure layers and parent it with the body layer. Let's select the body layer and let's move the anchor point to somewhere around here. So when we move the body these joints are moving as well. Alright, so now let's just shy out the unnecessary layers so that we don't get confused with too many layers. Okay, so now this whole illustration is fully rigged to animate. So a frog run cycle or a frog jump is kind of similar to a human jump. So the key poses will be similar such as an anticipation, then a push pose, then a mid-air pose, and then a contact pose, a overshoot, and then it comes back to a neutral pose. Now, we're going to add position and the rotation keyframe on the body, as well as for both of these hands, add rotation and position keyframes. Then, let's jump on to next five frames and here we are going to slightly move the body down so here it is going to have an anticipation we can slightly rotate it as well then let's add keyframes over here as well so then let's jump on to nine frames from the start and here we are going to have a push pose maybe so let's add the mid ear post first so we're going to jump on to next around 17 frames and here we are going to have a mid ear pose so let's put keyframes over here and we are going to add a ruler over here so that we can properly specify the ground on which the frog is touching okay so we need to fix the position of this leg now we are going to select both these three layers by selecting these three layers we can simply lift it up like this because the arm structure layers are parented with the body as well all right now we are going to spread out the legs and the arms like this let's give a rotation of zero or a slight rotation on this side 
let's move it even up a bit all right now we are going to add the push pose so for the push pose only the foot touches the ground but the body should be almost stretched out like this facing upwards even though hand should be directed upwards let's stretch it up even further let's now jump on to next 24 frames and here we are going to have our first contact pose so select both these three layers again and we are going to pull it down and this time around we are going to rotate the body like this and we are going to move the foot in this direction slightly rotate it let's select the body and we are going to move it up a bit as well as this foot so in this pose only this hand should be touching the ground and rest of the body part should be up in the air let's jump on to next let's go to the start and we are going to jump on to next 30 let's jump on to next 29 frames and here we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframes so here it is going to have slight overshoot and it is going to get back to its neutral pose but before that let's select the keyframes and easy is the keyframes by pressing f9 after that we are going to jump on to next 35 frames so go to the start and we are going to jump on to 35 frames and let's add keyframes over here and next four frames so here it is going to have a little bit of overshoot so here it is going to have this pose this anticipation pose we can copy and paste over here and now we can slightly move it up and slightly rotate it yeah minus one degree is fine now let's check out the whole animation so first we are going to check out this foot at this point it is just not touching the ground so it should be touching the ground at this particular positions so we have to add few more keyframes for that so we are going to go frame by frame and fix it at this particular poses and here we are going to add an arc so we are going to change the motion path like this we are going to add an arc and we are breaking the bezier handle of this side here we are going to give a smooth curvature like this and here it is going to get back in a smooth curvature and let's check it frame by frame if it's looking good so here we can bring it or rather at this particular position we can bring down the foot give it a zero degree of rotation or a very little rotation all right now after that so we are going to select all these keyframes and convert it into roving keyframes for that select the keyframes press and hold the alt key and double click on it and we can select all of this and not all of this just these keyframes and we can convert it into roving keyframes also these ones as well so let's check out Okay, now we are going to select these two set of keyframes, this push pose and this contact pose. We are going to convert it into roving keyframes. 
then we are going to select the position keyframe over here and we are going to add a little more is to this keyframes and next we are going to add a slight curvature on this as well Okay, so I have added few curvatures, even though if you add in between keyframes, make sure that the motion motion paths are smooth so that it is moving through a smooth curve. And after that, lastly, we are going to slightly offset the rotation and let's check how it's looking. So for the other side of the legs, I have animated it in a similar manner and just offset the keyframes by few frames. Okay, so like this, you can animate a frog in After Effects with the Twig Basil plugin. So if you like the video, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.